Well, the president says uh, the problem is with these governors, like Governor Abbott and Governor DeSantis of Florida, who are shipping off migrants to places far between. Take a look at this. Republicans are playing politics with human beings, using them as props. What they're doing is simply wrong. It's un-American. It's reckless. And we have a process in place to manage migrants at the border. We're working to make sure it's safe and orderly and humane. All right, now, the president specifically was referring to uh, this plane load uh, that got off in Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts on an island there with a well-to-do. That was a political stunt. It was egregious, saying the same about Governor Abbott's move to do uh, that with uh, migrants who found their way to Washington, D.C., Chicago, Philadelphia, New York, sanctuary cities, all. Uh, and it got us thinking here, uh, this outrage that's been expressed, uh, I, I always wonder what Lieutenant Chris Alavarez thinks of the Texas Department of Public Safety, because, Chris, uh, I, I can well remember, uh, it wasn't that long ago, and it continues to this day, where the administration, and ICE more specifically, has uh, had better than 900 flights carrying more than 51,000 non-U.S. citizens all over the country, some in the middle of the night, and very few in those affected areas said boo about anything, even though in most cases they weren't warned it, uh, at all. Uh, but now these couple of instances become the focus with no reference to those tens of thousands of citizens transferred under this in the middle of the night program. What do you make of that? Right, Neil, I mean, you're absolutely right. We know for a fact that over 1 million illegal immigrants have been released into the United States by the federal government ever since last year. And right now, we don't know where those immigrants are at. And of course, there was no acknowledgement, there was no concerns at that point um, from anyone, from these mayors or from any local officials in some of these cities, some of these states, where these immigrants were being bused and flown to by the federal government. But now that Texas and Florida and Arizona are now taking this initiative to bus immigrants from their states to these sanctuary cities, it's causing concern. And again, you know, and I mentioned this numerous times on your show, is that they're only experiencing a small fraction of what Texas experiences every single day. And Governor Abbott launched this initiative, this bus strategy initiative to bus these immigrants to Washington, to New York, and now Chicago, because the, the smaller border communities were just feeling uh, overrun by immigrants. They don't have the capacity. Uh, border Patrol does not have the processing centers to house the amount of immigrants that are coming across daily. So to alleviate that, we're busing immigrants from Texas to these cities. And again, one thing to make very clear is that these immigrants are not being tricked. Um, they're definitely not being kidnapped as far as you know, those allegations that were made by the governor um, out of California, these immigrants have gone through the processing system, they've gone through the NGOs, they've been released, and now all we're doing is facilitating the transport to these sanctuary cities because these immigrants, that's where they want to go because they know for a fact that they're going to receive benefits and they're going to be welcomed by uh, these sanctuary cities as these mayors and these other local officials have touted from the very beginning that they are a city of immigrants. So that's all we're doing right now and it's causing concern because now it's it's forcing the mayors, it's forcing the, the federal government to actually, to actually acknowledge what's taking place because Governor Abbott and all these other governors that are, that are taking part in this bus scene and, and also flying these immigrants is actually shedding light on what's taking place on the border and it's forcing them to actually acknowledge what's taking place. But again, we still have not seen any strategy or any plan from the federal government to do something about the influx of immigrants. We're seeing El Paso is now experiencing an influx of immigrants, which they have never done before. So, again, it's continuing to escalate. And all but, we're trying well, to do Chris, is try to alleviate some so of these border I'm, communities. I'm all for fairness. I'm for, or you're going to criticize something, you better be on a strong position to do the criticizing. Right. It's just like I would never give anyone dietary advice. It would just be a bad idea. Having said that, I find it interesting now that... Uh, they're criticizing uh, the state of migrants and how they're put in this horrendous situation. And I don't recall any right. of the mayors and those in these communities uh, fretting for mm -hmm. their, their condition and how they were being treated in Texas when it was just Texas dealing with this or Arizona dealing with this. I don't remember one of these guys talking about the better than 900 flights, as I said, over the last two fiscal years right. uh, to so many locations, Atlanta, Baltimore, Buffalo, Chicago, Dallas, Birmingham, Alabama, Brownsville, Texas, Buffalo, New York, Columbus, Georgia. I can go on and on and on. 
and say about how many of these flights left in the middle of the night with no advance warning, handled through ICE, clearly handled through the administration, and no okay. one said boo about that. That's what kind of galls me here because it's very inconsistent. It's a double standard. It, it is, Neil. It is. And the fact that, you know, especially, you know, saying that it's un-American or it's reckless, what's un-American and reckless is encouraging these migrants to make this long, dangerous journey where migrants are dying uh, crossing the river, dying in the desert, um, being smuggled by human smugglers. That's not a humane process uh, to have, you know, immigration. What they should do and what they need to have a plan is actually have a more controlled flow of immigrants that are coming across as opposed to having to pay a criminal to get across the river. And we're seeing a record number of deaths from adults to children that are trying to get across into the United States. That's not humane. You know, what we're doing is a more controlled strategy. These immigrants are voluntarily getting on these buses. They're not yeah. put in danger. They're free to get off anytime they want along this transport. So it's it's very, you know, it's 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 a hypocrisy of this whole situation, you know, from these, these local officials saying that what we're doing right now is placing these immigrants in danger. Well, it's quite the contrary, Neil. We, we're wild. seeing this it's you know, taking just, place ever yeah, since the very point, beginning. Greg, I'm, sorry, exactly. my, I'm sorry, my friend, but you're right. You, they, they just be consistent with this. Lieutenant Chris Alvarez, the Texas Department exactly. of Public Safety. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.